Hi folks and welcome to week three and it is at one of my favorite tracks Brands Hatch uh, One of the few tracks on iRacing I've actually been to to be honest. So yeah Brands Hatch. I have been here It's a very old-school British circuit because of the hills and it's not very flat and it's undulations and dips and humps and cresses and all that mumbo-jumbo fun stuff which this car does not like that much. Uh, we found out at Winton it doesn't like curbs. It likes some of the curbs here, but it does not like some of the cresses, particularly the one at turn one. I will mention it, so be warned. Um, otherwise, let's crack on with what we show you. Uh, where I track temp 85 Fahrenheit degrees will be above my head. Uh, track usage is what I always put it at 44%, so it's moderate usage, high usage, more grip, low usage, less grip. Same with the temp, higher temp, you get less grip lower temp you should have more grip that's why i show you this just in case you're watching it not when this week is live which is week three season two 2022 if you're watching this in the few series at least you can uh judge the track temp that may be different the lap i'm actually going to show you is lap 26 which is a 123037 now i did make a tweak as i did at uh, uh the last week track guide and I, I tweaked the baseline iRacing setup. So iRacing has a brand's hatch setup. I slightly tweaked it because, again, I found the rear end really twitchy this time. And round all the undulations and dips, did not like it at all. So, yeah, you can see here, full tank. I go now with a full car straight into the 23s after a few spins. Whoops. Uh, yeah, low 23s where I'm sitting. So I'm going to show you a 23 dead because that was by far the cleanest lap for you to learn from. Uh, fuel, I had four gallons left in the tank. No, I had two gallons left on this one. I had four gallons on these ones. So that'll give you an estimate on how light the car was. But I did have worn tyres. So swings and roundabouts. But we're not here about lap time. We're trying to keep you on the tarmac. That's the aim of it. Anyway, um, above my head, you should see two screens. One will be my Discord where the OLAP, BLAP, telemetry, replay file, and the setup that I have used to set these lap times towards the end will all be in there so you can have a go. Like I say, I'm no, I'm not a setup expert. I just want to make the car as stable. So, you know, to finish first, first you have to finish. That sort of mentality is how I race. Um, what else is there? On screen will be how I get into these sessions, so try and make them as accurate as I can. I use the UI uh, to get the right date and time and all things like that as much, as accurate as can to the actual race sessions themselves. Otherwise, uh, uh, yeah, let's crack on with the guy. We are at Brands Hatch and turn one is a real pain in the rear. Marshall Pose on the left hand side, just break just before it, ever so gently, you're going downhill. There's a horrible dip about here. If you're any wider than what I am now, I was finding it was spinning. So be mindful of that. Try and get to the apex of where I did there. I do run a little bit wide here, but it wasn't an off track because you can put a tire on the gravel without any issue. Shadow across the track now, we're braking just before it. Brake heavy, it's slightly uphill, so you can brake a little bit more than you think, but just be careful coming over the crest not to lock any tires and have a spin. Nice late apex, and you can use a bit of the exit curve that I do just about now. There we go, to uh, actually maximize your speed down this little bit of a straight here. You're hunting for the dirt patch on the right-hand side, and you're braking just before it. it is literally grades on the brakes. Fantastic corner to get right this, very easy to get it wrong. You still have a bit of curb, bit of corrective steering there, but you can use all of that off-track on the, it's not an off track you can use all the curbing on the uh, right hand side there this one is a tricky little rascal so as the barrier changes happen if that makes any sense brake stay on the red and white curb on the right as it ends you want to start turning the car in and feed in the power to try and tame that rear end it's a very weird corner crest dips ups down round and round it varies to spin around there so take it cautiously make sure you get a good line and make sure you treat the brake like glass on the way in Coming down the hill now, not really an overtaking opportunity here because this corner is very, very fast. So 50 meter board, slight graze on the brake, down a cog on the gearbox. I missed the apex curb a little bit there. You can take it, it's not too bad, but just be mindful of the exit. There's not a lot of curbing there. Just before the 50 meter board for the next one and the same again, fifth gear through here, drop it down to fourth just on turn in and you've got a massive great exit curb so you may as well use it. Be careful on apex, there is an off track which is very, very annoying. Coming up to Sheen now, this is an awkward little blight of this one. So 50 meter board as we get there to it again. Brake, you can take more curve than that, but again, there is an off track and do not run wide. Running wide is terrible. You spin, hit that bar on the right, hit people on the apex of this next one, which is real pain in the rear. 50 meter board again, nice heavy spike on it. The corner here is cambered, so make sure you get in the apex of that all the way over the curve to get the rotation on the car. If you end up away from the apex, you just understeer wide. 
surprise surprise we're at the 50 meter board again or just before it break again down and in, down into fourth gear for this one try and get on the apex just as you come over the crest the car will tend to understeer as you're going over the crest and downhill so be mindful of that and basically now it's a blast to the line that last corner is very very tricky as well do not run wide there there is no uh, curbing on exit so you will spin but that is us done in a 23 uh, 123037 and to be honest I think this is what this car was made for tracks like this there's not really any slow corners through here there is all fast pace nice tight undulations the, I, yeah this track suits this car quite well in my opinion otherwise it should be less carnage than Winton put it that way jeez that was a <laughs> that was interesting last week much better circuit this for these types of cars as I mentioned um yes in my discord I will put the setup in this that I use in this session so you can use the same setup I would I use the one in the Winton race that I did and it wasn't too bad it was a lot stable than what other people were finding i saw people twitching and all sorts i found my setup was quite stable but yeah let me know what you think of the setup as i say i'm not a setup master i just try to make something that's going to keep you in a straight line don't forget to like and subscribe and all that lovely youtube stuff otherwise i will catch you on the next one